Ianta offers practical learning to all the individuals with the kind of problem statements that they give. And the best part about this competition is the resources and the way it's structured. So starting from stage zero to stage four, there's a development as an engineer when you start from the basic task and you know make a full prototype of the bot. When I started reading the theory about the line sensors and servers and all those things, there's something called as data sheets from which we learn everything. But we need to check that practically to be sure that it works. And coming to the color detection part and all, there's a lot of variations in the environment than in the theory. You can learn anything on the own. Every resources is there on the net easily. But the thing is, you need a continuous push from the behind to achieve or to learn something new. The deadlines that we got, the tasks we need to implement within a stipulated amount of time. Something which always pushed me to learn something new. In the Triple E curriculum, I will never ever learn this OpenCV part if I would have not participated in Eantra. In the kit, we were given two types of server. The one is having the less talk, the other one is having a larger talk so that you can lift heavy more to it. If you read the data sheet, you will get to know that even at the no load condition, it will draw around 2 amperes of current. This is the theoretical value. So we just simply blindly initially we read the data sheet, we made a circuit which will initially give itself 2 amperes of current and we didn't add any of the other servers to that particular power circuit. But then we got shortage of power, then we thought okay, we should first check how much current actually in the practical case it's drawing. So then we tested it and it was just around 200 milli amperes even though it's on the no load. So, there is a large difference between the theoretical value which is 2 amperes and the practical value which is just the 200 milli amperes. The picking up mechanism, you can simply give the command but it might not work. You will simply get depressed that it's not working, we should not uh, go ahead with it. But then uh, we tried, we continuously tried, we gave lot of hit and trials, we recorded everything, we again saw that video what happened wrong at that particular point of time, we moved back then again uh, rectified our code and then again implemented it and finally everything got sorted and everything worked out. Before participating to Eantra, my interest was only towards the web development and the emergency coding but now after participating in Eantra, I got to learn this Python as I said earlier as well as the image processing. So Eantra is a platform where student can actually dis just not restrict themselves towards some sort of their life things but they can also explore various fields depending on the theme which they will get and they will practice on that theme and maybe they can shift their interest they can explore more